Welcome to Storytime Pals. Subscribe to keep the stories coming. Hi there, boys and girls. It's your pal Vernon. The next story I'll be reading to you is called Henry's Amazing Imagination. Here we go. Henry loved using his imagination. Wow, he's very imaginative. <laughs> especially during show and tell. He told the class he caught a fish so big, whoa, it pulled his boat across the whole lake. Wow, that's very imaginative. <laughs> and he built a snowman as big as a house. Wow, very impressive. Henry even told the class all about his neighbor's pet, Joey. Huh, that kind of looks like a dinosaur. Hmm. The day Henry told them, an alien landed in his yard. What? Everyone started asking questions. Uh, how can an alien breathe on Earth? Why didn't you call 911? What color was the alien? Aliens don't land in backyards, they land at Disney World. My mom says there are no aliens. Uh, what planet was he from? <laughs> oh. Tony said, You're a big fibber. Oh, that wasn't nice. Henry didn't mean to fib. It's just that his imagination got mixed up with the truth. Yeah, that happens sometimes. After show and tell, Mr. McCarthy said, Henry, you have an amazing imagination. Instead of using it for show and tell, why don't you use it to write stories? Oh, that's a good idea. Uh, but oh, what if I can't spell out all the words? Huh, that's okay. Just do your best, said Mr. McCarthy. You can even draw pictures to go with them. Hmm. So, Henry got busy at home. Wow, look at him go. Good job, Henry. And at school. Whoa, is he on top of a mountain? <laughs> now that Henry was using all his imagination to write stories, Henry sang, We went to the store and we bought cheese. Here's the cheese. We went home and show and tell got really boring. So boring, Sydney fell asleep. We made a cheese sandwich. It was good. Hmm, yeah, that's not very fun anymore, huh? Uh-oh, even Mr. McCarthy started falling asleep. And Tony said, uh, I liked it better when you fib during show and tell. But Henry knew he shouldn't fib. What should he do? So he got an idea. Hmm. Wow, look at all the stuff he's imagining. Very cool. And at the next show and tell, Henry read his stories aloud. No one called him a fibber. No one was bored. Everyone agreed. When Henry used his imagination to write stories, show and tell was amazing. The end. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time. Bye. Thanks for watching Storytime Pals. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.